The sudden outbreak of the COVID-19 pandemic at the beginning of 2020 has affected the entire world and changed many aspects of everyday life. Unfortunately, people's sex lives are not immune to the effects of quarantine. Between the singles struggling to date, to the people who are enjoying Pornhub Premium, or the couples that aren't used to being separated, to the ones being with each other 24-7, almost everyone is finding themselves navigating uncertain waters. Love, sex, and masturbation are all important components of everyday life, which is why we wanted to see how these factors change under the pressure of the current circumstances. To do so, we conducted a survey and reached out to participants from all over the world of all ages, relationship statuses, and sexual orientations. The statistics that we gathered have shown that for 27%, their sex lives have changed for the worse. However, 33% actually find that it has positively impacted their sex lives. On top of that, almost 60% of our participants found an increase in their libido. So how important is it to keep an active sex life? Well, this is clearly shown by the 12% of our participants who were willing to break the rules of social distancing in order to satisfy their needs. These numbers, however, remain only statistics. That is why we asked people to submit their very own story of love, sex, and everything in between to show what is actually happening under the sheets during COVID-19. This is Infectious Love, How Corona Influenced Our Sex Lives. Before diving into their stories, we turn to sex and relationship professionals Nadine Bose and Dr. Michael Pettery in order to gather more insight into these results. My name is Nadine Bose. Um, I'm a couples therapist and also sex therapist. Funktioniert's jetzt? <lacht> ja. Ich habe in den letzten sechs Wochen äh, so viele Klienten und Anfragen gehabt wie seit Monaten davor nicht. Disclosure: We would like to clarify that the following stories are anonymous and read verbatim. My sex life is actually not as different from before. Since my sex life was basically non-existent before this pandemic, it sure is now. And I can say that during this pandemic, my sex life is not existing. <lacht> So I've been quarantined with my mother um, and my sex life has been pretty much non-existent. But it, but it just really means that I have a very boring and lazy day. To be honest, I discovered parts of Pornhub that I didn't know existed and I would really, really love to see. And at some point I figured, fuck it, let's make a Pornhub premium because I would be stuck inside for at least a couple of weeks. So I might as well just make most of it. I tried masturbating for the first time and I really liked it. Uh, I didn't try it before but because of the quarantine I was kind of horny and bored so I just went for it. Now under the subject of Pornhub they did me dirty with their free premium I'm telling you because now I can search for even more videos and even in better quality. I do have to masturbate to keep up with marriages. I masturbated almost every day, mostly out of sheer boredom. It's still kind of moderate. I'm not a freak who does two to three times a day, but I do keep it constant, sort of like uh, daily or every second day. I'm not necessarily mad that I can't have sex right now, but I think it's essential to liberate some chemical reaction. I go into Pornhub two to three times a day, or sometimes even five or six times a day. Porn consumption did increase, you know, Pornhub even, I think they released like the premium for for free or something for people around the world. And so there are huge increases there. I do believe that there is a higher tendency of using masturbation or sex, any kind of, um, yeah, ejaculation for releasing uh, stress. Es gibt natürlich Leute, die jetzt die Zeit haben, wesentlich mehr zu konsumieren, wobei das weniger aus Freude heraus passiert. Es ist eine coping strategy, yeah. you know, because like the situation we have is very traumatic for a lot of people and so old trauma resurfaces. For some people even things that they didn't even know they had. And uh, so everyone has their own coping strategies, you know, and for some that will be going into work, for some it would have been sports or, you know, dating, that's a big distraction and if that falls short, you know, porn might be the next best thing. So. I am asexual. Since everyone's experience with being asexual is different, I'm just gonna say that I personally don't have the desire to have sex. So it's a thing of self-initiative or lack thereof. I do most of it usually, but I don't have the urge to do it lately. From what I could see, it's especially women who were more suffering from lower libido. I've also run out of antidepressants two months after I moved to Amsterdam, which of course affects your hormones, your depression, and also dampens your libido. So that also has been a factor in the decrease of sex. 
Now in the pandemic, it's even less, just as I felt even more down than I usually am. Mit den Leute zu mir kommen, äh, sind eher Symptome aus dem Bereich depressive Episode. Corona-Krise wird eine Zunahme von depressiven Störungen und depressiven Erkrankungen sein, wie wir sie noch nie gehabt haben. Und ja. das geht natürlich mit einem großen Verlust an Libido und einem großen Verlust an Freude von Sexualität einher. So, I've been quarantined for 37 days now and I can tell you that I have never been more horny in my entire life. Is that both me and the people around me are starting to get more and more horny. The sexual tension between me and the girl I last had sex with is rising with the day. And I found a few guys that were very valuable on Snapchat and we started talking and sex things started to happen out of nowhere. So I've been trying new digital ways of living my sex life and even though I'm not like entirely comfortable with sharing intimacy over the phone, I'm definitely willing to try new things out. And some of these have been like undressing or teasing on camera, which has been really fun. Every time we talk, hints are being dropped, and now it's just blatant with snaps being sent with captions like, I wanna be fucking choked, or you have to come over. And it gets even worse because we can't see each other. I really want to go on a Tinder date, get wasted, and hook up with someone hot. Or also finding secret public locations to meet up for sex, uh, which has been a really fun thing to experiment with. So I know the first time we will see each other again, it's gonna be wild. <laughs> and I hope we can go out soon and just get down to business. I'm currently in a relationship and we see each other daily. And we live together. The lockdown in our country of course meant that we spent a lot more time together. This sometimes led to small annoyances, but most of the time I think it really improved our relationship. We got to know each other better not only by our personalities, but also in the bedroom. We experimented a lot with our sexuality. <laughs> So far so good. I'm quarantined with my girlfriend, so thankfully the sex life is still active. We have sex about six days a week. It's great, but also tiresome sometimes. First, uh, sex was kind of like a pastime activity um, and it became a bit routine-ish. So one night we got drunk out of boredom and we decided to try some of the kinkier stuff. We tried out new positions, had longer foreplay sessions, got a lot more vocal, and had more sex in general. Basic sex, but I don't mind it. <laughs> I don't need crazy funny sex acts. We tried having sex at places we never did before, like the dining table, the sofa, and even up against the wall. I was going full porn star on him, and weirdly it was working, and we have been trying out of our comfort zone stuff ever since. I do it to relax and feel bound to my boyfriend. It really fired up the both of us, and I feel like we got more passionate with each other. Our relationship has been going much stronger since, and occasional kinky sex and just doing what you thought you would never like is actually the way to go. It really helped us get more intimate and voice desires we never dared before. And it may sound weird, but I'm really grateful for the lockdown because I got to know my partner on a deeper level. Like this will go into both directions for couples, you know? Some couples, they will really like bond because they will take this as a challenge, as a growth opportunity. I haven't seen my boyfriend for six weeks and I can say that during this pandemic my sex life is not existing. <laughs> um, this is really hard on us because we see each other every weekend. This pandemic uh, is testing a four-year-long relationship, but it also brought us closer uh, we talk about our life after quarantine when we can see each other and that gives us strength to continue. Um, on top of that, at the beginning of April I was tested COVID positive, so even if we could manage to see each other, we couldn't. Due to the quarantine and the fact that we're in a studio, kind of miss some space for yourself. This can be overwhelming and cause friction sometimes, plus even though the sex is great, sometimes you just want to have a wank. And the other dynamic will be, because of all the fighting that is coming up, if they don't manage to communicate truly and to talk about needs and how to actually work with them, it will, yeah, we will find quite some divorces as well. A few months ago, our world came to a halt. Our routines and sexual habits as we know them have changed in a matter of a few weeks. While for some this lockdown seems to have deepened bonds, for others it may not be so simple. As Dr. Michael Petteri explained, many people do not handle these times of pressure and uncertainty as easily as others do. The future remains unknown, but the most important thing is to remember to keep your head up and to remind yourself that these times will pass.
The world may now seem like it will never change back to normal, but take a deep breath and slow down for a second. Remember, keep you and your loved ones safe. So wash your hands, you dirty pig.